Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos. And I have to admit, there's quite a few in this one that I would have walked past. So I'm gonna say to you, don't walk past these bolos. In this video, I am going to share with you bolos from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. There's a link down below. If you're not in it, definitely join. It's under my link tree. And I just posted share your best September bolo. So go and share and I will feature your bolo in a video like this. I need to know where you got it, what you paid for it and what it sold for. Also, please shout out any social media, YouTube, any selling platforms you sell on in the comment with the post. That way I can mention it in this uh, in future videos when I do the when I share your bolo. So here we go. This one says picked up several of these for a dollar a piece. I knew these were bolos. This is my second set of these to sell in a month. One sold in one day. This one about two weeks, full asking price for $25. Yes, so the McDonald's Happy Meal toys, these are the changeables. I don't know if you guys remember these or not. I don't remember them, but I have sold them. And uh, they're pretty cool. And people really, really like them. So not a whole lot of McDonald's toys go for big money, but some of them still have some decent value. If you can get a really big lot of these, you can up the price, obviously. But search McDonald's toys. I have an older video on McDonald's and Happy Meal toys that shows you some of the ones that were popular back when I made the video. But yeah, definitely, definitely get the changeables. Another good one. Um, I did a video. And Dad Planet and I were both up at the Goodwill bins at the same time. And they had just dumped all of these toys. And there were a whole bunch of these types of toys, the Happy Meal toys. And he was going for the potato head ones. And I don't know if I knew that the potato heads were a bolo, but they are. And I think I was looking for these. I can't remember. I, it's been a couple years ago. But that was a fun day. You should have seen everybody digging in these for these McDonald's toys. Happy Meal, McDonald's. There's some Subway ones also that I think do pretty well. So you can check out that video. Type in Happy Meal Toys, Bolo Buddies. It might come up or maybe it's McDonald's. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But if you want to check it out, I would check uh, current selling prices because it is an older video. So she says, I expect everyone knows fry bags, but I'm going to share because I found it the third day of a little charity sale in the last hour. They were open in the last hour. They were open for only two dollars. Don't skip the sale because it's small the first day or it looks bad. You never know what you'll find. The customer was all in for one hundred and thirty two eighty. Um, let's see, $89.12 after fees for a $2 invest investment. This one comes from Thrifted Spirit on eBay Mercari District Commons. All right. Thank you for sharing. And it's a fry bag, guys. So fry, I've heard of that brand. Do they make shoes also? I feel like they make shoes. The next one is, I love these little things. Um, Kitschy. MCM Christmas Ceramic Japan Kitschy Pair of Candy Cane Angel Figurines. And Kitschy and Kitsch. <laughs> Seems So Vintage was on her Whatnot show the other day. And I, she was talking about Kitschy. And she's like, can you say Kitsch? Or is it just Kitschy? And I'm like, I don't know. But I just learned not too long ago to say Kitschy. But I still am not sure what is defined as a Kitschy item to use it in the title. But this one, it's in the title. And these are super cute. Purchased this set for $10 from a local estate cleanout company. Wasn't sure of the value at the time, but later research showed single ones had sold for $75 to $80 each. So I marked them high at $199.99. Took an offer of $170 after 10 weeks. I'm a new reseller. Just started in March, so I was very excited as this was my biggest sale so far. Awesome. Yeah, that's a great one. Good job. That's super exciting. Okay, this one comes from Picker Money Flipper. They also have a YouTube channel. Definitely check them out. They are big money bolo finders. Vintage Germany latex Halloween mask with hood, skeleton skull, scary monster goblin. Bought it for 10 for the mask. Or, okay, 10 for the mask at an estate sale. Accepted an offer of 100 plus shipping. Creepy. You guys all know about... um the scream mask. There's certain scream masks that are crazy money. This one definitely would have walked by. Definitely. 
Definitely. I picked this up at a garage sale with a truckload of other items. I sat it in my shop for four years <laughs> and I debated putting it together, but I have too many projects. These steam engines are made in England and this one was from 1955. They're highly sought after and buyers will get into a bidding war. Oh my goodness. Look at that. What on earth? I wouldn't have had any clue what that was. Vintage Stort Triple Expansion Steam Engine Kit. Cast complete. Wow. $1,505. I don't know what he paid for it. He probably doesn't remember either if it was four years ago. <laughs> the next one is this vintage 50s Bosch and Lom uh, Ray-Ban Aviator Shooter Sunglasses Leather Case Only. Hi, Courtney. I purchased seven pounds of designer name brand empty sunglass eyeglass cases from an online auction. I have sold my own old design empty cases. They were just sitting around, so I figured why not list them and see what happens. They sell fairly well. Not big money. Anyway, I listed a vintage Ray-Ban case from a, a lot I purchased earlier this month. Listed for 40 and took an offer of 20 because I needed to start making money. It's a vintage 1950s Bosch and Lom. Uh, Ray-Ban Aviator Shooter Sunglass Leather Case Only. Sold in less than a week. I don't have a store on eBay, but I can be found at Four Colors for Me on Poshmark. I'm Mug Shot Seller. Oh, on Poshmark, I'm mugs, Mug Shot Seller. I have a bunch of other cases listed for sale. Thanks for all you do. There you go. Yes. So these are something that you just list a whole bunch of them and people buy them as they need them. I mean, you guys think about sunglasses. You're always like, oh, I need a sunglasses case or you lose it or just you want one for your car and you want one for your house. And yeah, people need them. They're kind of a must have, right? Hi, Courtney. Me again. I got this cross stitch kit along with several others for free. Sold on eBay for 33. It's a Mill Hill cross stitch kit. Renaissance Angels um, embellished vintage 1995 sealed. This also comes from Four Colors for Me on eBay and Mugshot Seller on Poshmark. And it is a cross-stitch kit. Yeah, if you guys don't know, cross-stitch kits can definitely be a bolo. Some of them can go for hundreds of dollars. This here says, this was at a yard sale, leftover fine. Paid 50 cents or a dollar. Purchased only because I like to choose items that have tags. Listed on Mercari for 100 and sent offer for $90.45. Never heard of this artist before, so took a chance on instinct. My store is Thrifta Sista on Mercari. Thanks for your advice. I always make notes on your recommendations of good brands. Thanks so much. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is, but it does have the tag on it and it's probably artisan made. So artisan made can definitely be something that you want to research and new with tags. I mean, why not? Why not look it up, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this guy. I would not want to ship that. This, this is the I would not want to ship that series. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but I could do a video on that. Like Bolo would never buy this because she does not want to ship it. Uh, Brand Niff Airlines Boeing model scale. Now, with that being said, this might come apart. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. If it was, it, it sold for $455. I might try and figure it out. <laughs> Let me know if you guys uh, hesitate to buy things because you don't want to ship them. I know in one of the videos I said that and there were a lot of comments of how much money I'm leaving on the table, but you also have to take in the time factor. Something like this, I'm not kidding guys, would probably take me 30 minutes to an hour to ship because I would be so um, particular about how it was packaged and then finding the right packaging materials. So if you guys have any shipping tips, let me know down in the comments. I went to an estate sale where I bought four model airplanes. They were quite dusty and I had to carefully clean them all before selling. I had the U UPS store pack this particular plane. Oh, there's the answer. Have somebody else pack it. I like that. I have done that before. I had a dollhouse once and I had it on local pickup and they like really wanted this dollhouse. So I took it into UPS and, uh, you know, it was a huge dollhouse. I'm like, what if they return it? What if it breaks? Oh, but it worked out. So that was a long time ago. Uh, so had UPS store pack this particular plane because I knew it was rare and worth more money. I paid four for the plane and about 26 for UPS to pack the plane. It is a, whatever this airline Boeing is, 727 model plane. This particular scale, scale and model is rare. It is one in a one to a hundred scale. And it is an airline that went out of business. I could only find one like it on worth point, which sold in 2008 for over 200 and another one 
in the Smithsonian Aviation Museum. A model plane person who bought another plane from me who I asked his opinion said it was because it was an original. I don't really know anything about model planes. Maybe I could have sold it for a lot more. I put it on auction not knowing its true worth. I started the auction at $179.99 and sold it for $455 plus shipping. My store name is This and That Resale. I think I would have done the same thing. I would have uh, definitely had UPS pack that. All right. The next one here is a golden guide hallucinogenic plants. <laughs> wow. First edition, 1976. Um, I found this pocket-sized book, A Golden Guide to Hallucinogenic Plants, first edition at a family-run estate sale in a hard-to-see dark basement. Paid $4. It sold in two days and went international. I did a buy it now, and buyer paid $112.99 plus shipping. Uh, my eBay store name is This and That Resale. That's so funny. Wow. It's pocket size. Crazy. wonder what they're going to do with that. Uh, Ber Bergion? brooches assortment set some sort of tool another one watchmakers vintage watch clock tools oh wow cool this is this and that resale also she bought it for eight at the same family run estate that she bought the book at that we just saw she said i removed only some of the rust but still sold for 127.99 plus buyer paid shipping it sold in one day I still continue to keep selling so many things from this estate sale. It is the estate sale that keeps on giving. The house sold and was empty immediately after the estate sale. Knowing the family had to clean out the house, I went back to see if they threw anything out. Please don't judge people. <laughs> there were more things left by the road. I got a vintage VCR combo TV in mint condition that had was uh wait that has a good sell through rate and should sell for 120 to 140. Do you mean don't judge you because you went back to look for the free stuff? Girl, I don't judge you. That's the that is the reseller thing to do. You go get that free stuff. All right. The next one is an RCA color TV combo. Found these. Oh, where is it? Oh, here. This is hers also. Uh, the free VCR TV combo by the right roadside. I don't know if it sold or not, or if she's just showing. No, it sold. It did so sell. Oh, wow. Cool. $149.95. Sweet. All right. Here we go. Here's the next one. Found these Chanel. Is that Chanel? Yeah. Mini free. Sold for $64.08. Don't pass on mini designer fragrances, especially Chanel. So Chanel is one of those brands you got to be really careful with, guys. Because number one, it's faked a lot. And number two, I've heard a lot of people get it removed. Uh, they did sell this on Mercari. Let me know if anybody has had any problems with Chanel down in the comments. This is a perfume spray by Cotty. Picker Money Flipper, eBay and YouTube, bought two of these perfumes for $2 a piece and sold for a hundred and one sold for $111.55 plus shipping. Woo, check it out. Yeah, so if it's new old stock, you can sell it, guys. What do you think about that? Bolos, would you have walked past some of those? I definitely have walked, well... I don't know if I have, but I would. And that airplane, oh my goodness. I probably would have seen that at a garage sale and honestly not even looked it up because I wouldn't want to ship it. So yes, I probably miss out on some big bunny bolos because I hesitate to ship things. But the UPS, taking it in, having them ship it is a great tip. I have done that before, but I oftentimes forget it. Um, because I really, you know, it's another step. You have to leave your house. You have to take it in. You have to wait and time is money. But if it's a big money bolo, it may be worth it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I've got my referral link for whatnot down below. I didn't really talk about it in this video, but I do want to mention that I'm over there selling auction style. Everything starts at $5 or less. And I'm Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase on whatnot. But there's a referral link if you're not on there where you can get $15 to shop if you join with that. Now, with that being said, I also have tutorials if you're thinking of selling on a new platform and um, whatnot for beginners, Bolo Buddies in the YouTube search, or I have them linked down below. It's step by step how to do it. So if you guys are interested in that, you can check out those as well. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.